Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be good stuff or positive predictions for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you're a Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Pole, or if you have a stellium in Sagittarius, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, I reply. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. And I hope this reading helps. Eight of Swords. Hmm. Someone was lying to you and keeping you stuck. You're going to find out the truth about that person. You, if you've been fe feeling imprisoned or you know, sort of, sort of this helpless energy because of someone's lies. You're going to be able to uh, see the truth here. The blindfold is going to come off. For some of you, the rose-colored glasses is coming off or the blindfold is uh, coming off here. There was some sort of restriction and this very well could be mental restriction here. Like a prison, a restriction that you, uh, like mentally you created because of certain circumstances, because of a person here. For some of you, you had the self-limiting beliefs, you know, and that's what you're overcoming here. There are lies you have told to yourself. I can't do this, I can't have that. These kind of lies you have told to yourself and you are letting go of those lies and seeing clearly, seeing almost like seeing clearly your own potential here. card all the readings i've done today uh have received the wheel of fortune which is a good thing like it's positive predictions and look at that star at the bottom of the deck you are healing it's almost like uh, the more you release the self-limiting beliefs the more you stop saying to yourself i can't do this i can't have this or whatever the more you're stopped till, like the more you Release this belief, the more you stop lying to yourself, the more you're manifesting here. It's like you are changing things for yourself. You're changing your own fortune here. You're changing, uh, it's, it's almost like you're changing your destiny somehow. But you are, you are finally manifesting what you're destined to always have. You're manifesting new opportunities here. There's something about, for some of you could have been, uh, you know, for a long time, you felt a sort of hopelessness. Things are not working. Things are not changing. You feel stuck in some job situation. You feel stuck with the same kind of people, something like that. But it's like you are healing and you are becoming more positive. Instead of thinking pessimistically, you are being more positive here. You're being more optimistic. And the more optimistic and positive you are, the more you're manifesting new opportunities, the more you're manifesting things you're destined to always experience or the t things you're always destined to have. Page of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. For some of you, you are learning to manage your resources wisely as well here. Like making smart decisions, making wiser decisions when it comes to your money situation. Hmm. 
being more generous. For some of you are learning uh, like something new you're learning. It's going to actually uh, a new or if you have a new opportunity coming your way, if you take up something new here, whether it's a skill set, whether it's a new uh, subject or whether it's a new job, new opportunity, a new side hustle, anything like that, it will actually help you improve your money situation here. Yeah, for some of you, you really had those self-limiting beliefs when it came to money as well. Like you tried to control money, like not control money. It's like you used to control your finances because you felt like you're not going to have enough. Or, uh, or it's, for some of you, this could be like some sort of generational trauma you are carrying when it comes to money. Some sort of self-limiting beliefs, as I was saying, when it comes to money. And you're overcoming that here. Yeah, you're releasing, you're surrendering. Whatever this uh, obsession or control you had with money that I'm never going to have enough. I need to restrict money. I need to stop uh, spending money. I need to stop being generous. Or, uh, or I don't think money, the flow of money, it's something to do with money here. Some, some self-limiting beliefs, some lack mindset you had when it came to money. When it, it's just not money, it's like resources. And you are finally able to surrender those. You are you are able to surrender those limiting beliefs. And the more you are able to surrender, the more you manifest new stuff here. It's like the flow of money is going to increase here. Especially if you have been dealing with some sort of, like you have always dealt with monetary issues. Like money has always been a problem. As I said, generational uh, trauma when it comes to money. Financial opportunities are coming uh, your way if you're struggling with money. But yeah, some sort of perspective change definitely needed to happen. Until and unless this perspective change happened, until and unless you surrendered, let go of this perspective of I can never have enough, I can never do this, I, I don't know uh, if I can ever manifest the kind of money, the kind of lifestyle, the kind, kind of adventure experiences I had. You needed to release this. And once you did, that's when the flow of money, the flow of, it's like you are in the flow of life itself. Oh, look at that. It's trying to clarify that wheel of fortune, four of wands. Chariot. Yeah, painful cycle ending. You are being able to release a painful cycle here. Some past hurt, past betrayal. For some of you, you felt deceived and you were going through a painful ending. But finally, that's changing for you. The cycle is changing. And you are moving towards victory. The chariot and the four of wands. That's celebration, victory, good times. Having reasons to celebrate progress as well here. And a lot of stability with that four of wands. Not to mention the four of wands is the 11, 11 cards. That's manifestation. What I'm getting is here like. For some of you, you felt like. You are not able to manifest what you want. Like your manifestations have been put on hold. That sort of a thing here. But that is going to change here. 
whatever you always wanted to manifest, whatever you desired here, things are going to start coming in. And it's like it, you have been desiring the, these things for a while. It's been more than a while. For some of you, some of your lifelong dreams, that's what you're manifesting. Whatever you dreamt for the longest time, that's coming in. And also forward movement and something about like you being better at money management definitely financial stability recognize it sorry being recognized for your work for some of you you're gonna gain followers or supporters or you're gonna be recognized and applauded you're also receiving a lot of confidence boost here as well you know like something is gonna happen some sort of victory or success is gonna happen here that's gonna be huge confidence boost for you but yeah, success is here. Victory is here. You're coming out of that eight of swords, ten of swords, energy, four of pentacles. No more limiting yourself. All right. Let's look at some oracle cards. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, being happier. And that healthy choice could simply be just letting go of those self-limiting beliefs. Releasing yourself from the limitation you have put on yourself here. choosing healthier relationships and connections as well here and it's just not romantic relationships or partnerships it's also like friendships that are healthier jobs that are healthier is also what i'm getting here if you have been in a one-sided connection one-sided relationship for a while you're finally realizing that it's not making you happy anymore. But some of you really were uh, like um, dealing with someone who, with whom it was a one-sided relationship or that person was selfish, self-absorbed kind of a person here. And the reason you were attracting this person is because you didn't love yourself enough. Something about loving yourself enough was necessary. Realizing that you should love yourself enough to not be giving your time to these kind of people these kind of connections you are healing that part of yourself or you have healed or you're making healthier choices there no more falling for love bombing and hot and cold in and out not that energy anymore the connection or relationship here but here's the thing no matter how unhealthy that connection was yeah see heartbroken you're letting it go ending it and you're choosing to make new memories here you're choosing to date new people date new kind of people different kind of people not the kind you used to date not the kind you are interested in so it's almost like your choice in partners your 
is changing or the kind of partners you are romantic partnership or relationships you are attracting it's changing you're not going to fall for just flirting just physical attraction or just instant gratification that's not what you are falling for anymore someone new uh, while you are attending someone's wedding but yeah this is like honeymoon is like a good time good times are coming traveling having fun meeting someone new yeah so some of you are really like if you're dealing with third party situations and everything, you're just letting that go here. Or if you're dealing with someone who's treating you as a third party, someone who put you in a third party, you're just letting that go here. Yeah, someone had, it's, it's that gold digger. Yeah, you're letting go. You're letting go of someone who had a hidden agenda. Gold digger doesn't have to mean exactly gold digger, but someone who had hidden agenda. Someone you felt was using you. Could have been for money, but could have been just you felt used. And you're letting go of that person. You could be also letting go of people who, you know, like who are friends with you or um, who just want to be in your life because it's just advan it's, it's an advantage for them. They can get help from you whenever they want. Let's see what else comes up. you are on will bring you success and prosperity if you just keep going you're on the right track so when it comes to your money situation job situation uh, you are on the right track here keep putting in the effort for some of you you are actually uh, trying to understand better what you actually want to do in life so if you have always wanted to do something or if you for some of you could be feeling disconnected from what you are doing already so if you're in a job if, if you are already doing in, in a business you are not really feeling the connection here you're, and you're trying to understand what you should be doing to actually like you will be able to figure out what you should be doing here that will actually make you feel happy these are uh, this this is a message for the ones who's feeling disconnected from uh, your job or you're doing something, but it's not bringing you the happiness. It's not making you happy. 
you'll be able to find out the kind of job, the kind of thing you want to do, which will actually make you happy here. Yeah, some of you, you're coming uh, up with new strategies, new, um, like new innovative ideas here. For some of you, you are someone who will, you know, it's almost an energy of make something new happen. Like do something that is, what's the phrase? I can't remember the phrase. Something that uh, someone has not done before, that kind of a thing here. Some of you, you are really uh, someone who has that people skills. You're really just good at talking to people or just someone who uh, has that, like you communicate really, really well. You have a way to blow people's mind with how you talk, how you present yourself. And if you have that already, that's a great way to make money. I mean, I'm not saying use people to make money. That's not what you're going to do. But use your communication skills. It will actually help you make more money, bring more opportunities in your life. And if you're not sure, this is also what I'm getting with this card. If you're not sure about a decision you're making, a choice you're making, give it some time. Give it some more time. Think some more. And you will be able to understand what is what you need to do. Are you choosing the right thing? Are you doing the right thing or not? Oh, three of cups. News worth celebrating, yes. Reasons to celebrate. Yeah, some of you could be attending an engagement, wedding, someone's pregnancy, baby shower, graduation party or some something. And it's going to be a fun time. And you're going to meet someone there as well for some of you. But yeah, it's a like good time. Enjoying the fruits of your labor, enjoying surrounded by good people. That's kind of thing here. Well, that's your reading, Sagittarius. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye bye.